Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday. We need to look at some possible options for our weekly Thursday flipping investments on the FIFA 19 market. I know a lot of people right now have sold off their teams. You know, we're kind of in that limbo period, just waiting for team of the season. It hasn't come yet, and it doesn't seem like it's going to come exactly uh, anytime in the next week or so, to be honest, it seems like we are just kind of in this limbo period. People are just waiting and waiting for the announcement and, uh, people still are going to play weekend league. People are motivated to stack packs. Uh, at least some people out there are. And last week, even with all the hype that was coming around, um, the promotion that was going on with maybe we're going to see team of the season on Friday, you know, the market was continually going down. Things still went up on Thursday. I don't expect anything different this Thursday. I actually think things could go up even more this Thursday because people have nothing to do. They're going to realize we don't have anything going about tots. We don't know anything about team of the season coming. I'm going to go buy a team, play weekend league, and then sell it. So I think things could go up a little bit more this weekend. So last weekend, what we talked about was focusing on the, the lower ranges. So we looked at cards that were... You know, we looked at the team of the weeks and we looked at cards that were on the lower end of things. We set about 200,000 coins and below. This weekend, I want to keep it on a budget again. I want to stay lower, like the 200,000 coin range. Again, it's kind of like the sweet spot. But I think you can maybe even increase that price range up to like 400 or 500k, especially on some Premier League cards that might be a little extra hyped up because of the VVD player of the year SBC. Obviously, we still have the VVD SBC that's out and the Sterling as well. Sterling's at 1.1. He's gone down a little bit. And then VVD is right now at just over a million coins where he has been chilling um, so far. But that really makes me think this week that, again, it's going to be kind of a chill chill week. We will see some things go up. That's why we want to look at the informs and the rare special cards that are on the market as long or along with some gold cards as well. Last week, one of the biggest cards that went up was actually Paul Pogba. His gold card last week was in packs, was, was there for everything. Last week, he got down to about 120,000 coins on Wednesday night. Right here, when this says 129, 130, he was actually, at this point, 120 flat, and he rose up to about 140. So this really does not show the entire story of Pogba right here. Um, and now you can see he's at 117. He's been dropping even more throughout the week. What's been his lowest point? 113 during the day yesterday, 116. So if you see this card again around 110,000 coins, I think he could easily go to 130 on, on uh, Xbox. And then on PlayStation last week, I do believe I saw him at 170. He's now down at 140. Um, so maybe if you see him hit the, the lower 130 type range, um, this is a card that literally just rises every week. If we go on the three-month outlook, um, you can see these little humps every week. 150 to 170, uh, 160 to 176, 165 to 175. So even on the, on the lower weeks, um, this card is a very good card to flip just because he is one of the most popular center mids uh, in the game. And if people are building cheaper teams, which they certainly are right now, this card is going to be one that a lot of people are going to look at. I want to look at Aguero really quick too because he's a cheaper budget striker. He didn't really go up too much last weekend if I remember correctly. Right now, 61K doesn't really make me want to invest in him. But some of those gold cards could be good to invest in because of possible uh, guys that get into the team of the week. Now, this is a prediction by G is a legend based on flipping his predictions of what's going to be in team of the week this week. It doesn't look and like it's going to be anything too special, but they could throw a couple cards in there. We might get somebody Premier League uh, related. We do have a Salah up here at the top, 92 rated, so that's an interesting card. Uh, I wonder if we'll get that, but we'll, we'll find out today who is in Team of the Week, and from there, we can kind of maybe look at some uh, link investments to some of those cards. But this week, I think you're going to want to focus on Premier League for your linking. I mean, yes, you want to look at OP players from other leagues as well that go up every week, but Premier League will probably have most of the hype this weekend, still because of that Van Dyke SBC. Um, you know, people are maybe starting to piece together a little bit of their end game squads. Since that Van Dyke SBC did come out, a lot of these cards have actually dropped down a little bit lower than what they were. Sun at 480, Firmino is down a little bit. 
Um, but some of these cards are just still so, so rare. Um, and they're popular. People are still using these cards as well. Um, link investments to those cards might be, might do well uh, as well. But again, it's just going to be one of those weeks where you're going to just look around the market tonight, Wednesday night, before rewards, like the you know the five, like the two to five hour period before weekend league rewards actually come out on Thursday morning. Um, you're going to want to be looking across the market, look at past team of the weeks, past special cards, and again look for the budget. Richarlison is a guy that I flipped to, uh, last week that did really well for me. Uh, yeah, he was here at 86, and he went up to almost 100. I feel like he could do the same exact thing this weekend um, just because he is a cheap, budget, very OP option for a right midfielder in the Premier League. So if you see this guy around 80,000 coins on Xbox, he's a great pickup, or maybe around 90,000 coins on PlayStation, this is kind of a lower tier budget that you're going to want to look at this week. Now, last week we had link investments that we could go look at that were based on... Um, links to this team the knockout stage i think those could work again this week a lot of the cards as you remember it from past promos they actually go up the most in their second week out of packs now a lot of these cards have rebounded but like hyunmin sun at 480k you know he is actually around the same price that he was when he was in packs even lower so that's kind of a card that has lost a little bit of its hype Firmino's up some but he's actually down i saw a few at 290 uh, earlier but he was down here at 240 um, so if you see this card maybe hit an, again like like 250, um, this would be a great card to pick up just because it's so rare on the market. Now I'm actually not able to get on the market as you see right here. Uh, we have no signal from the Xbox. That's because I have it hooked up wrong at the moment. But I my FIFA download is going. If you saw my tweet um, last night, my my internet's awful, so it's downloading, and that's why we're sticking to uh, Footbin for this market video for this Thursday flips. If that doesn't change anything, we're, we can still find some deals on Footbin and talk through all of this stuff. But again, you're going to be looking for the range of the guys kind of like this, the Richarlison. Look at Man of the Match cards as well. You know, the new Man of the Match cards. Um, we'll go over to this tab. FIFA 19 players. Actually, we'll go FIFA 19 new players and look at these Man of the Match cards that are still in packs right now that interest me a good bit. Pulsen at 158k, once he goes out of packs, I feel like he could very easily go up to extinct at 200,000 coins, kind of like a Laporte situation, or at least near that 200,000 coin mark. Joseph Ilicic, I like him around 40. Thomas Muller, I love at 30k. I think he could go to 40k out of packs. Um, and then the rest of these guys don't interest me too much at all. Um, but the, those Man of the Match cards are always good to look at, and then other Man of the Match cards as well. Uh, in my video yesterday, I talked about Man of the Match cards just because they are so rare. You know, if there's any of these that link to a possible Team of the Week card this week, uh, who do we got here? Liverpool, Ajax, um, you know, Caliaguri might be somebody that people use, um, but even a UCL Man of the Match version of some cards could rise up in the hype. Di Maria at 108. He eventually hits 120 each weekend. Um, Laporte at 150. I don't think his price range has been updated. Um, so that doesn't really interest me too much. But some of these UCL Man of the Match cards, like the, the UCL Man of the Match Salah, 637k. I saw it earlier today, at one point it was at 600k flat. For sure, I know that was it was there. Yeah, 588 and then 615 later in the day. So th these cards fluctuate a ton. And if he gets in Team of the Week, this will no longer be his highest rated card, but it will draw attention to his card. Although I do feel like uh, this card is a bit above our price range where we want to be trading. Where does his gold card go in weeks like this? 71,000 coins. This could be an investment opportunity as well. You see last week he was at uh, like 73, 74, 72, and then he reached 75 on the weekend. Um, so you might be able to snatch this card on Xbox for low 70s, maybe under 70. Possibly could be a good buy if he does get into Team of the Week. His card will be out of packs. And that's a cheap right winger as well that people would want to use um, in their weekend league squads. But again, scroll through these Team of the Weeks. Look at the rare cards like Carnivals. I mean, we talk about the same kind of similar stuff every week. There are some differences though. Um, you know, when we look at who's in Team of the Week, we look at what is coming up in the market, and especially with these new SBCs, where the hype is. So. Premier League goalkeepers, um, like the Hugo Lloris cards, um, you know, just Premier League stuff in general, under, you know, 400,000 coins, I think is kind of the look this week in terms of best 
bang for your buck investments. Um, Alexandro at 430, that's really low for the headliner card. Um, Lala at 212 actually is a pretty pretty cheap card as well. So, but again, this is kind of on the top edge of your price range. Wow, 205. So he's been even lower than this. But you see what he did last weekend. He went from 217 to 239 because you know a lot of people, instead of using their team of the year Mbappe, they're going down and they're using one of these Mbappes. 180,000 coins. Last week he was like 180, went to 190. He's been 170 this week. Oh my goodness, this one's 120,000 coins. 124 to 133. Again, this week, 114 for this card? You're kidding me. This is going to be one that uh, does well this week. It's out of packs because it's uh, not the winter refresh version. Obviously, the 88 is in packs. Only on 120,000 coins for Mbappe. You get an easy link at the right back for Lala. Let's look at the, the third inform. This is a popular card, 115K. Last week, he went from 119 to 129. So even when the market is down, even when the market is quote-unquote dead and nobody wants to buy teams and to spend coins, so many cards move on the market on a weekly basis that are so easy to flip and sell. Now, if you're looking at Team of the Week cards, try to focus on some of the Team of the Weeks that are higher and more recent just because those are the cards that people have seen recently and they're just more hyped up because they're they're newer cards on the game. People are liking to use them um, instead of you know going back down here all the way to team of the week one and using some of these cards. Now that kind of is not you don't have to worry about the special versions of cards. Special cards like these always move on the weekly, especially if they're needed for links. Um, this Socrates card I got a bunch of him last week. I plan on getting a bunch of him again this week just because that card moves every single week it's a good one to trade with as well but there's just so many things to trade with this week and i don't think you have to be afraid last week i was a little bit afraid and what i was investing in but if you focus again on the op stuff pogba and bape content maybe even like a sergio ramos we'll look him up as well cards like this are just very very easy to flip on the weekly because they go up all the time ramos looks like he didn't move too much last week let's look at varan as well uh, Rafael Varane, the 86 rated center back, 35K last week. Looks like he didn't move too much. Um, but still, a lot of these cards are going to be on good deals Wednesday night when you're watching this video. Go and check them out. Based on what's in Team of the Week, you might be able to get some link investments. If we do get an informed Tadic, the 87 rated Tadic, that would be something that people would uh, be a little bit more hyped up for. Maybe that would increase the value of that left mid David Neres card. Um, especially since they got the win yesterday versus my team Tottenham Hotspur. But again, don't be shy with weekend league rewards this week. The Thursday flipping, the weekend league rewards flipping, it's good every week. It's going to be good this week. Let me tell you, it's always good. Just focus on the meta, the Premier League, the special cards, and um, the cards that are out of packs, even like a winter refresh like that Mbappe example that we looked at. So it's going to be a good week of trading on the market, even though the market is very low. Um, I want to talk about sell times really fast. I don't think you have to be in a hurry to get out of your cards. I don't foresee any information coming on team of the season. I guess on Friday, I could see something. I don't see it starting on Friday. So I don't see as a, a Thursday promo screen. I don't find that likely. If it happens, it happens. Everything will go crazy, crazy down. But I don't think we really have to worry about that too, too much this week just because of the player of the year SBCs being out and that hype being there for those SBCs. I don't think we have to worry about team of the season yet for another week or so. So um, get your Thursday flips on. It's going to be a great week for that. Um, and as always, make sure you tweet me or talk about your flips in the comments below uh, after this video, letting me know how good you guys did and some of the profit that you made. If you have any questions, Drop them down below. If you have a player you think might be a good investment, let, ask me and I'll, I'll be there to respond and to help you out with that. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Sorry we couldn't be on the console, but we'll, we'll be back on it tomorrow um, for the next upload. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.